The penguin is a bird highly adapted to life in the water. Its wings have evolved into flippers. But because of its inability to fly and its clumsiness on land, the penguin is an easy target for predators such as the polar bear. Well camouflaged in the snowy landscape and equipped with long claws and sharp teeth, this giant is the perfect killer. Though here his qualities don't seem to serve him much, as tasty snacks haunt him from their safe, unreachable homes, while his own home slowly melts away, and this mighty colossus will one day become food for the smaller beings that roam the salty waters. These creatures come in all shapes and shades of grey. As we are crossing their aquatic world, wildlife takes a turn as we enter fresh water. Some animals that live here are no longer limited to underwater life. Here on these sun-heated rocks, reptiles reign. They spend most of their time doing nothing in particular. Higher up in the trees, it bursts of activity. Like true acrobats, these spider monkeys turn the trees into their tangled territory. In the dark side of these dense forests, nocturnal primates thrive. In contrast to their acrobatic relatives, these primates are less swift. Most of them just stare into their dark world with their big eyes. Having in proportion to its body the biggest eyes of all mammals, the tarsia is the winner in this staring contest. It's also one of the smallest primates, here only surpassed by the mouse Lemio. Lemio means spirit of the dead. Climbing higher, the forest starts to untangle and bird utopia appears. Just like the maritime wildlife, creatures from the sky vary greatly in shapes and grayscale. Seasons change and the temperature drops. The barn swallow starts its migration south. The swallow's journey ends when he arrives at the African savanna. The first inhabitant of the savanna is not hard to spot. The African elephant is the largest of all mammals that live on land. This female is moistening her skin with mud and feces to protect herself from the burning sun. In this land of giants, the only enemy is the food shortage. The extensive adaptation that some animals have undergone can still be insufficient. Where size makes the largest animals invulnerable to predators, smaller herbivores, such as the zebra, need to blend in to escape from the lurking eyes of hungry beasts. This group of lions have spotted the unexpecting zebra, but they show no interest, as they already have a meal. Their cubs, on the other hand, are always in for some action. Though the pigeon just escaped death, he's already brought himself into another dangerous situation. Here, predators are lurking in every corner. Time to leave. 